Looking for cheap Madden coins? Check out my new sponsor, CoinBank UT, for the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable coins on the internet. And I can help you save some money too. Be sure to use my code BKINDLE for 15% off your order. So this team about to show you today cost me 5 million coins to assemble. And now I got 72,000. So safe to say, broken real life and a broken mutt. I've gone into a depression. But we'll let a therapist worry about that. Today, I'm going to show you guys a lineup update of what 5 million coins that I've spent this year can make you, and they can make you roughly an 89 overall team with an 88 offense and 88 defense. But I'm telling you boys, this team is cracked out, and the reason why it is so low, I have a theory here, the reason it is so low is because our offensive line is full of a bunch of fat men who can't block. 87 David Bakhtiari, GOAT left tackle, 84 Richie Incognito, 84 Corey Lindsay, GOAT center, 89 Jari Evans, and 85 Mike Mc McGlinchey? McGlinchey? McGlizzy? He's a freaking glizzy? But he's 6'9 though. So we got three players on our offensive line that are 85 and under. So that's really what's bringing our overall down a little bit. But we got Jerry Evans and we got d on the offensive line. Two really good pass blocking linemen right there. So we definitely need to upgrade at left guard and at center and right tackle. And then we should be good. But this is the offense right now in all its glory. The firepower, the Decepticons. The freaking goats of goats and I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore. The offense is pretty damn good though. So you saw the offensive line. It's pretty meh, meh. But moving on to tight end, we got some weapons here, bro. And mainly because of the Packers theme team. Packers theme team's got some great tight end weapons so far. And start out, we got Jimmy Graham at tight end number one to go with Jermichael Finley at tight end two. And then Hayden Hurst, nobody cares about him. He's irrelevant at tight end three. But let's just compare our two starting tight ends. We run a lot of two tight end sets. We got Jimmy Graham, who is six foot seven, and we got Jermichael Finley at six foot five. So we got a lot of size there. Speed, they're both looking good. Their stats are very similar. Jimmy Graham's a little bit stronger and has a lot better catching but overall everything else pretty good 94 catch god damn that boy doesn't drop shit 91 catch in traffic 94 spec catch 91 route running 86 route running and 67 run block so run blocking these guys aren't very good but they're so big that they just block up the middle like who cares put them on a block they'll do work but i throw out a bike tight ends a lot i throw a lot of corner routes to them and having jimmy graham and your michael finley as my two tight ends they don't drop shit. And we're just going to move on to the quarterback next. Because you see him right there rocking his do-rag, looking all swagged out. The human glitch. The card that broke man 04. The card that every dog is scared of. Michael Vick. And just like every year, dude, this card's cheesy as hell. 91 speed, 96 throw power. And yeah, that's really all you need to know. He's fast as hell, and he's got good throw power. He's got a cannon. This card makes all the throws that I could possibly need to the weapons that we have on offense, dude. Michael Vick breaks game every single year. He's always the quarterback until the next glitchy one comes out. Dude absolutely rocks out. And then we got Bo Jackson next to him. We run the ball a lot more this year than I did in 20. Pretty ironic, but Bo Jackson definitely gets the job done. Moving on to our wide receivers, man. We're going to start out with the best wide receiver currently in the NFL. Tay, Devontae Adams. This card has very bad speed. 86 speed ain't that good, but everything else is pretty good. Good route running stats, good catching stats, good catching stats, good jumping stats. He does everything well besides the running aspect. So I put him in the slot, just put him on a low drag, put him on a low slant. He breaks off that release really quick and he gets a lot of separation, gets open. Mark Clayton is probably one of the most undervalued wide receivers in the game, dude, because he just flat out balls, bro. If you power him up, he needs to be up to 90 overall. You need to power him up. But if you do that, he's got 89 speed, 91 spec catch, and then he's got 91 route running on my team. You get that 90 threshold, you get him roughly around 90 speed, he breaks the game, bro. That's really what you need. You need that 90 speed. You need that. You need that 90 deep route running. Put him on a post, beat cover three, beat cover four, whatever it is you're trying to do. This is the card you need to run that post route. And then the best wide receiver in the game, bar to none hands down is Tyrone Calico played like three seasons no idea who the hell he is leave it to EA to release a card nobody knows and have him be the best card in the game he is six foot four with 91 speed 90 jump 86 catch 89 catch in traffic 89 spec catch 85 route 88 medium and 91 deep route running. Like we said, we need players with 90 speed and 90 deep route running. He's got 91 speed. He's got 91 deep route running. He is six foot four. 
catching stats are insane he hits every threshold this card far and away is the best wide receiver in the game and if you have like 500k to pick him up because he's expensive as hell pick him up abilities wise on offense i'm rocking with my qb running back and wide receiver we got michael vick here who has bazooka he also has fast break and escape artist bo jackson literally just had bruiser on him i just want to get those truck animations and then Devonta adams i got double me and route technician so we can break off against man coverage and now boys we move on to the best part of the team the offense is good the offense is really good we need to upgrade the line but the defense is even better dude look at the defense holy shit Starting out our safety spots here, I got two user gods to absolutely have the speed and lay the pipe with Jamal Adams here. Good speed, good hit power. We just haven't powered up to an 88 overall out of position right now. And then other side, we got the user god, Taylor Mays, dude. This is going to be the best user in the game until they release another Taylor Mays or something else along the way. Since this card just came out, we're going to show the stats. You can see Jamal Adams on the left as well, but he's got 90 speed, 90 XL, 92 tackle, 87 play rack, 90 pursuit, 79 man coverage. I which was better but he's got 87 zone and 92 hit power and then jamal adams their stats are very similar man but dude this taylor may is absolutely insane user because he is six foot three sub him in that middle linebacker user m safety whatever you want to do this card's the best user in my linebackers we also got some weapons here with the second best defensive player of all time in lawrence taylor he's also kind of a crackhead and likes prostitutes so you know Props to him, I guess. I don't know. Khalil Mack is over on the left side. And that linebacker, I got Ryan Shazier, another user god, and Junior Seau, who I never thought would be a mutt. So it's pretty dope that he's back in the game. Defensive line, we are stacked, boy. Starting out with the best defensive player of all time on the left side and reggie white the goat he needs to be in a packers uniform here but he's still good as hell defensive tackle we got Leroy glover as our mug captain and Lenville joseph 88 overall as our backup and then justin smith over on the right side so d-line hogs up the run gets after a qb we're set there and then cornerback bro we got some speed we got some hitters we got everything we need starting out with Deion sanders Best cornerback in Mutt, hands down. Take a look at his stats real quick. He's got 92 speed, which is insane this early in the game. 92 excel, 92 agility, 89 man, 89 play rec, 91 man, 90 zone, and 81 press. So it doesn't matter if you run man, doesn't matter if you run zone. He hits the threshold for both of them. He's going to be great in either R, so you can man him up, you can put him in zone, whatever it is. And with that speed, he's going to get the ball. He gets a lot of interceptions. This card's absolutely goaded. We also got the NFL kickoff master byron jones as her cornerback too this card plays so much better than i thought he would bro i'm i'm not even lying he leads my team in interceptions hands down he does everything so well 90 speeds really good good excel good stats all around 93 jump 86 play rack 84 man coverage i'd be better he almost hits that zone threshold we just gotta move lockdown up one and 91 press and he gets good abilities too this card he gets every interception bro he leads my team in interceptions hands down and then in our nickel spot i got denzel award powered up i don't have the full version of him but still this card equally is good because he gets the 92 speed 86 zone 80 82 zone and 86 man so i wish his coverage stats were a little bit better but in the nickel man a lot of people are gonna run drags a lot of people are gonna run slants i just want to have somebody that can keep up with speed and then in terms of abilities on him what better ability is there than an ability that is so broken in the game that they had to update the ap start out with byron jones i got universal coverage as him as our x factor and then bench press because bench press is you don't know as far and away the most op ability in the game and then exact same thing on dance of war but universal coverage and bench press kind of fatigue the wide receivers a little bit that's what helps with all this speed that we have on our team and then our third and last one is jamal adams who has enforcer which i'm telling you right now enforcer doesn't work for shit it doesn't cause fumbles at all this year bro and then Avalanche, which I still not activated because once again, you don't lay hit sticks or fumbles. So boys, our defense is nasty. We got some hitters on here. We got some playmakers. I got everything I need. I absolutely love this defense. Offensively, we could use a little bit of work, especially on the defensive line. Maybe get a better third wide receiver. Maybe get a Barry Sanders right here. But once again... I am broke. So guys, I want to leave it up to you on what chemistries I should use. On offense, I got go deep 25 out of 30, which means I get plus three throw power, plus three run block, plus three, whatever that is, plus two deep route running, plus two catch, plus two spec, plus two deep, plus two 
break sack? I don't freaking know. Plus two throw under pressure. So we're pretty high up on that. And defense, I only got locked down to 7 out of 10. So I need to upgrade that, especially so a player like Byron Jones can hit that 90 zone threshold. But I want you guys to let me know in the comment section, what upgrades should I make on my team, both on offense, both on defense? Name a player that I should pick up and I'll save the coins to get them. And what chemistries I should use or abilities I should change out. Just let me know any changes you'd like to see me make on this team. Right now, I'm loving this team. Don't know how it's an 89 overall, dude. I feel like I'm getting gypped right now. Probably because my kicker and punter are 80 and 81 overall. But once again, guys, let me know any changes you want me to make in the comment section, whether it be player, chemistry, abilities, whatever it may be, my hair, my clothes, I don't care. Just let me know changes, bro. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this team update once again. With everything added up on Mudhead, this team cost me roughly around 5 million coins. So that is why I'm officially Mutt Broke. But we'll save up. We'll make additions as promos come out whenever they do. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, boys. And we haven't uploaded in a few days, but take a little bit break from Madden and YouTube, because let's face it, this game's stressful as hell. But we are going to be uploading every single day this week, and live streams will be back as well over on YouTube. Not today, because obviously Packers are playing, like Go Pack Go, all that shit. But tomorrow we'll be start live streaming as well, and I'm going to try to get two videos out a couple days this week too, so subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn those notices on, and I'm out. Peace.